The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Rails Puppet in the game. Today, I'm counting down my top 10 personal favorite UAD plugins. And this is one of the most frequently asked questions I get of people asking for suggestions for their pick three, pick six, or even pick 10 bundles on uaudio.com. And I understand it's hard to choose. There's so many plugins to pick from. So I'm gonna break it down for which ones I use the most and even show you a little bit on how I use them. The first plugin we're gonna get into is probably not a surprise to anybody who's followed this channel before, and that is Autotune. Now you might be wondering, Autotune is an Antares plugin what would be the point of buying it from UAD, especially if you already have that version? I have three main reasons why I love the UAD Autotune. Number one, it does not juice up your computer's CPU, especially when you're loading up instance after instance after instance. All UAD plugins use the processors in your Apollo interface. That means that all of these vocal channels that start with an Autotune in all of these chains are not adding to the CPU load of this whole production. And it functions just like any other regular version of Autotune. You can turn up the retune speed. Or do it a little bit more naturally. We had it somewhere right in the middle. That's usually where we end up using it. The second main advantage to having the UAD Autotune is that you also get access to these other versions of Autotune. There's actually three. If you've ever used Autotune Artist or Autotune Advanced before, you'll recognize this newer version of Autotune. And you also get access to real-time access, which is like the miniature version of Autotune, uses less CPU power, but also has less options and stuff. But the beauty is when you get Autotune, you get all three of these, which is something that you don't get on any of the other platforms. And my third favorite reason for using Autotune, you'd also have the ability to print your vocals through it. You could load it up right here in the special processing at the top, and I can have Autotune on my voice. And if you wanted to record the signal being produced by Autotune, you could choose this UAD record button, but for my vocal chains, I prefer not to record any of my UAD plugins, so I'm just gonna remove this. It makes it just easier than ever to record your voice with tuning if you choose, or just to hear the tuning in your headphones latency free. Next, we have another plugin that you see me using a lot in console and on my lead vocals, the 1176. By default, they give you the Rev B for free, but I really like the Rev A for two reasons. One, it's a lot brighter, and two, there's a mix knob so you can easily do parallel compression. Turn it all the way up to 100% and to zero and maybe 15%, 25. And parallel compression is such a useful trick because it allows you to combine your dynamic dry vocals with your extremely compressed signal at a lower volume right here in the plugin in the mix knob. And again, this is something that you see me doing a lot in my console app. I can drag this over here and you'll be hearing my voice through the parallel compression here on this 1176, a very useful trick that UED allows you to do it right there with the mix knob. So that's the 1176 Rev A compressor, a very versatile plugin that you could use on individual channels like vocals or on parallel compression of an entire group. Another all around great vocal plugin that you see me using a lot is the Manly Voxbox. I'm actually using it up here on this channel as the vocal chain here on Kara's voice. As you could see, I'm low cutting it at 120. I like to use the input gain to control how much compression I get. Instead of changing the default position of the threshold, I think it sounds pretty good where it's at. Or pull it down for less compression. I'm doing a fast release, medium attack, a little bit of a high peak, some DSing just to keep it smooth. This plugin is a great all-in-one. And another huge advantage is this is also a unison plugin, which if you really loved the way this sounded and you wanted to commit your recordings through it, you can load it up as a unison insert, which will actually have your voice be printed through the circuitry of the Manly Vox Box, through your Apollo. Slightly different than adding it 
in the mix afterwards, according to them. It's almost a complete vocal chain in one, but let's jump forward to the next plugin, something that I'm actually using on the entire mix. Instead of putting a compressor on the master, I'm parallel compressing my whole mix together. All of these groups that are getting sent to A are getting sent here to the UAD Empirical Labs Distressor. This is a really good compressor that I'm using to glue together everything but the kick and sub. You can see this is everything that's getting sent to the compressor. The kick, the synths, and the vocal. And the mix without it. So what's going on in here is a high ratio, 10 to one. This is my favorite sounding ratio. Beyond there, I feel like the transients really get lost. Next, I'm also linking the left and right side. So it's doing the exact same processing to the left and right channel. Even if one side is louder, it's still doing the same. I think that just helps glue it together more when you're using this in the mastering phase. And I love the saturation produced by Distortion 3. And I'm actually using the default medium attack and release times, and I'm cranking the input gain all the way up. And this is my favorite way to use this as a parallel mastering glue, combining different elements of your mix together in a compressor. Do your vocals sound like they got no sauce? Are you tired of listening to harsh and overcooked vocal mixes? Introducing UAD Vocal Sauce, the warmest and most powerful sauce you'll ever drop on your vocals. UAD Vocal Sauce is available now only at holoops.com. And speaking of mastering, the next plugin that we have below this is the Oxide Tape. Now this plugin is combining a bass and the drums together and adding all this distortion to it. And here it is blended in the mix. And without it. And with it. To me, tape effect is a combination of harmonic saturation and compression, and you can control how much you get of that effect here with the input, and I pulled down the output just to bring it down. And again, this is on a return channel being blended in with the mix before it hits the master chain, kind of as like a parallel distortion on the overall low end of the song at about 11 decibels quieter than the dry signal. For any kind of music where you want it to sound a little bit more classic, vintage, like it's playing off of a tape, this is my absolute favorite effect for that. I highly recommend the Oxide Tape. Check it out on your drums group, on your master, or even as a parallel plugin like you see me using it here. Next plugin that we have is actually down here on the master, and this is one of my favorite UAD plugins to use in mastering, and it's called the Oxford Inflator. I'm gonna take it out first and show you what the song sounds like without it and then reintroduce it. And you're gonna hear this loudness come in, but as you look at the meter, here's the input and the output, you're gonna see it doesn't actually get any louder. And if you wanted it to be your final plugin, you could clip off the maximum volume here with this, but I'm running it through a different limiter afterwards. And this plugin really is some sort of black magic, the way it can make your mix so loud without sacrificing the transients, like adding a compressor or a clipper would to it. It just brings up the overall loudness of it without being any louder. I really love using this plugin on not just my master channel, but on groups of things. I don't use this too much on individual sounds, but this is definitely something that works magic on groups. Speaking of groups, the next plugin that we have here is on the groups of these little horn stabs here in the drop. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. This plugin is fun for a beginner or an advanced producer to use. It's really hard to make it sound bad. You could either boost or reduce these different bands. My favorite favorite is putting it on 40K and boosting the air gain. Now I know your hearing isn't supposed to go past 20, but when you add saturation at 40K, it translates to a little bit more transient and bite on the overall sound. So I'm gonna play those horn stabs with and without it. I'll turn it on first and then I'll turn it back off. And without it. Big difference between the bite in these little horn stabs and this plugin just makes it so easy to mix anything, especially on the high end. You're gonna have great results throwing this Mog EQ on drums, vocals, anything that needs to sparkle, you're really gonna get it out of this plugin. It makes it so easy. Moving on to some special effects plugins, here in this vocal and a lot of my other vocals that I mix, you'll see me using the EMT 250. I have it here on this Kara vocal. You can turn it all the way up. And we can make it a little bit longer. Really dark and rich quality of reverb. I also use this as the reverb in my UAD vocal sauce template that goes here in console. You could see it's always loaded up here in my first aux. I use this in my mixes and in my headphone mix. It's just such a great sounding reverb. You're gonna love it on all kinds of instruments. UAD just really did the plate reverb the best. The next effect that I love is here in the effects group, and it's turning a very simple guitar string scrape that sounds like this. And that's the sound of scraping a guitar pick against the strings, and anyone who's messed around with a guitar has heard that noise before, but to elongate it into an effect that lasts for a long time, I'm using this UAD Galaxy Tape Echo. This combines echo with spring reverb, and not just any spring reverb, probably the best and most realistic spring reverb you've ever heard. Check this out. So as you can see, I'm dialing in an eighth note triplet and quarter note echo on each side with a long feedback, boosting the bass and treble in the echo, and then I have the echo volume turned up, and they're panned a little bit to the right. Let me turn the echo down and just show you the spring reverb by itself. It's just such a great sounding spring. It almost sounds like it's playing through a guitar amp. If it's just for the spring reverb, I highly recommend getting this Echo plugin. The delays sound amazing too. I'm combining both of them, like I said, to make this effect. Such a classic sound, great emulation of the Roland RE201 Space Echo. So those are my two favorite special effects, one delay plugin and one reverb. The last plugin is something that I'm not even really using correctly. It's supposed to be a vocal preamp, but I'm actually using it here to spice up this lead synth. Here on this synth, at the very end of my chain, we have the UAD 610A. It's really weak, loses all the bite, all the distortion. And here's with the beat. Without. With it. And all that good bite is coming from this high frequency knob, adding three decibels of high frequency saturation and then some overall gain and drive coming from this knob. This is supposed to be, like I said, a vocal preamp that you can load up as a unison insert and record your mic through it. But I love using this as a mixing tool on any stereo material that needs to feel more analog. That's what UAD plugins are great for at the core is making things that weren't analog feel like they were. So this is another plugin that I would recommend putting on your vocals or your synths, anything that needs a little bit more saturation because I feel like when you're making music in the box, that harmonic richness is the first thing to go missing. And that's where these plugins come in so clutch. But that tops it off for my top 10 favorite plugins from Universal Audio. If you want to get your hands on my vocal chain for UAD plugins that includes a console preset for recording your vocals, check out UAD Vocal Sauce on wholeloops.com and I'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out. Peace out.